Orange Cassidy flying solo here tonight in our opening contest against Alex Reynolds of the Dark Order. Cassidy's friends nowhere to be found. Like you said, I mean, the, the friction between Orange Cassidy and Trent Beretta, fire and ice, and, and poor Chuck Taylor is more like the lukewarm water in between. He's nowhere to be seen. He doesn't know what side he wants to be on right now. And now Reynolds hammers that boot into the jaw. We saw even Chris Statlander get involved, trying to, trying to talk some sense into Trent Beretta. Yeah, but Trent whispered something as we saw uh, on Wednesday in the ear of Chris Statlander. What that was, we're not sure. Cassidy puts on the brakes. Oh, oh the about... fake out. I don't think we've ever seen him fake out the hands in the pocket. He's angry. And he's putting the hands in the pocket. Some intensity. The shotgun drop kick takes Reynolds down. Oh, look, look at that. Like you talked about, Chris, that brain buster on the floor yeah. is having the effect. That's a great point, Tony. And now he goes back to what he knows best. The kicks in the corner. Some of them lackadaisical, but these ones are definitely not. I like this fire under Orange Cassidy. I really do. But, I mean, think... Think what it took. It took Trent Beretta, a man that Cassidy considered one of his best friends in the entire world. After, after a single loss in the tournament, Beretta turned in his back on that friendship. It had been building for a long time, though, Excalibur. Like I said, I know this orange Cassidy's true colors. Oh, Cassidy to the outside, sends John Silver into the barricade now. Picking up the attack inside the ring. Cassidy looking for that DDT. Reynolds counters. Oh, rolls him up, look at this. Inside cradle, and no. Cassidy popped up. Nice. Oh, that knee strike. Caught him right in the bread basket with that one. Here and we go. Oh, stuff. Pile driver. He grabbed the trunks and Cassidy, his head driven into no. the mat. Barely <laughs> kicking out. I'm telling you that Silver's on the outside has played a big part in this, but Reynolds on the inside has wrestled a great match. And once again, conspicuous by his absence, Chuck Taylor. Maybe he's siding with Trent Beretta. Well, that's a question that only they can answer. I... Yeah. Gang up on Orange Cassidy. Give well, him a little bit of what for. That's how the best friends originally began. It was Trent Beretta and Chuck Taylor as a duo. But Cassidy gets the elbow up into the jaw of Reynolds. Now the boot. Reynolds staggered a bit as Cassidy up to the middle rope. Oh, with the right hand. Stops Cassidy in his track. Stops his ascent. Looking like a, a hard ending here for Orange Cassidy if Reynolds gets what he wants to get done. But, but Orange isn't finished yet. Now Cassidy fighting with Reynolds. Some shots to the midsection. May take Reynolds off the ropes. Got a headbutt coming, man. You can see that the way he grabbed the hair of Reynolds. Yeah, Cassidy wound up and... Oh, look. Uh-oh. Reynolds there is again. Reynolds called for the referee's attention, allowing John Silver to once again play a role in this matchup. Big boot in the corner. Cassidy's trapped up top. What's Reynolds got in store? Oh, brother. Reynolds lays out the stutter off the ropes. One, two, and oh! Again, Cassidy survives. Oh, great effort. Super avalanche stunner there. Chris, you know firsthand just how tough Orange Cassidy is, but this has got to be testing his limits. Look, here he is again, another brain buster on the almond. No! Stunned on Millionaire! But look at Cassidy holding his back. He just took a hard fall on that floor. Dark Order, a little friendly fire there. He's duck dodging and diving now. Orange punched to Reynolds on the floor. The only man, cover him. Yeah, Cassidy not wasting him. Or perhaps is wasting a moment. Oh, he's going after Silver here. Why not? How oh, Cassidy's jaw is set. The orange punch drops John Silver. And now Reynolds struggling to his feet. Orange Cassidy is fired up. Never seen him like this, ever. Burnt Orange, he's angry. Boom! Orange punch. One, two, three. That's it. There is your winner. Freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. And our colleague Renee Paquette headed to the ring to try to get the word, or get a word with the victorious Orange Cassidy. And Renee, take it away, please. Orange, congratulations on your win tonight. But listen, I have been dying to talk to you. I think we've all wanted to hear from you. After what happened last week with Trent Beretta, his ruthless attack on you, the implosion of the best friends, what happened? I, 
Hi. Uh, just as Orange Cassidy was about to address the situation, there we see Trent Beretta arriving to a chorus of boos. Look, he's still wearing a best friend shirt here. Well, Trent and Orange, they will not be winning the big one as. Oh, wait, Chuck oh, look, Taylor. Oh my gosh, Chucky's in the middle. Chuck Taylor standing behind Orange Cassidy and. Wow, but seemingly aligning himself with Orange Cassidy. I thought when Chuck rose. Is my best friend or not, huh? Well, Chuck Moretta, I think he just said to. I think he just said to Chuck Taylor, he thought we were best friends, and now. Oh, wait a second. Now, Chuck. See, he doesn't know where to go. He's the lukewarm water in this innocent bystander. Chuck Taylor walking out, and right now, Al Scoops, Alex Marvez.